This is Lorian Autreux. He looks happy. And this is me. I look happy too. Well, we are happy in this photo because it was such a nice and fun visit. This is a short story about the Champagne Autreux in the beautiful premier crew village of Champignon. Last summer, we were driving to Champignon village in Champagne for two occasions. First of all, we went to visit the Champagne Autreux, the producer of the most selling champagne in our hometown, Finland. La Chouette de Champignon. And meanwhile, we also decided to spend the night in the luxury spa hotel Royal Champagne, which is located in the same village. Such a beautiful hotel. Well, it might not be the most cheapest option for many, but it is absolutely worth a night to try. Anyway, let's talk Champagne Autreux. The background of the Autreux family goes back to 17th century to year 1670. And since 2014, Lorient Autreux is in charge. In Autreux, about 800,000 bottles produced every year. All cuvées are malolactic, but Lorient is also working on to make some experiments on non molo cuvées as well. As a wine, the Brut Premier Cru blended equally Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier, and 20% of Chardonnay as well. The Extra Brut Premier Cru is the same blend as being extra brut, which is less sugar. Their Brut Rosé Premier Cru is 85% Chardonnay with 15% of Pinot Noir red wine added. The Brut Blanc de Blanc Grand Cru is 100% Chardonnay. And one of my favorites, Champagne Brut Reserve Grand Cru is an equal brand of Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. And Brut Reserve Grand Cru Vintage is the same blend made as a vintage wine in exceptional years. One of my top favorites is Le Père de la Douy, Grand Cru Vintage 2012. In this wine, the Pinot Noir comes from the Grand Cru village of Ai, and the Chardonnay comes from Chouy. And their top cuvée is another vintage, Cuvée 1670 Grand Cru, basically referring to the family history. They also produce Ratafia, but it's a super small production, like less than a thousand bottles. In Champagne production, there are different names for the different presses of juices. Cuvée and Thai. Lorient explained the Cuvée and Thai differences so nicely that I need to let this short lesson to run in this video. Here we go. Uh, the, the unit of measure is, uh, we say in French, un mar. So one mar, this is uh, the equivalent of one press of 4,000 kg uh, of grapes. Okay. And we have uh, 2,550 liters. So uh, with the, the the first juice, so which are 2,000 liters, uh, this is the cuvee. We make the champagne. This is the better juice, uh, more sweet with less acidity. Mm -hmm. And after we have two juice, we say uh, première taille and deuxième taille, 250 liters each. Uh, so uh, we don't use uh, this juice to make the champagne. With the juice, we will make uh, Mar de Champagne or Fin de la Marne or Red it was super nice to visit the Giro Palettes. But what a Giro Palette works for? A Giro Palette holds bottles upside down, periodically turns around itself, and collects the sediments to the neck of the bottle, mostly the dead yeast. Simply preparing the bottle for disgorgement. In my opinion, the Grand Cru is an exceptional wine. Chardonnay comes from the Grand Cru village of Chouy in Côte de Blanc and the Pinot Noir comes from Ai. It's a perfect champagne for the price when you think about what it offers. In their lineup, one of my top champagnes is Le Père de la Douy, which is 7 years aged in the bottle. And what I did, I got a bottle and I cooked some sea bass and paired it with it. Yeah. And try La Chouette de Champignon if it's available in your country. That champagne has a great price and quality ratio. Autreux is 
definitely one of the best producers that you get a decent quality of champagne for the price that you pay. After a nice visit and a long day, we were tired and we went back to our hotel, Royal Champagne Spa. And in our room, there was a bottle of great champagne waiting again, Lake Le Brion. I wish you all easy and nice days, full of champagne. Thank you for watching.